a great win tonight. Um, can you just talk us through the main talking points regarding VAR? Because that was a, a big factor tonight, your penalty and and then the goal that, that Brighton scored, which uh, even after looking at the screen, the referee decided was, was still a goal. There are decisions that I think they should explain and not leaving us in front of you and us explaining things that many, many times we don't find, we don't find any, any explanation to it. So I prefer not to speak about it. I see Scott as a good referee. Uh, he had the opportunity to go to the, to the screen and, uh, and watching the screen, the same thing that we, we watched on the bench in our, in our iPad. It should, it should explain, but I know that that is not going to happen. So let's move on and speak about a very difficult match that we, that we won. Okay, we're going to go to Fraser Dainton from Sky. Fraser, just unmuting you. Uh, Jose, in terms of the, the two goals that you scored, obviously Kane's penalty, but uh, Gareth Bale, great to see him straight onto the pitch and straight having an effect. You've talked about trying to give him time to get him back into the squad, but is he, is he showing you those little flashes now that make you think it's great to have him back here? I, I, I told already for about a week or so, I, I'm saying that uh, he's improving. Uh, and I told that he's not just by... By watching him is just the data that supports our training process. Uh, we knew. Uh, we also know. And the good thing is that also Garrett knows. Um, and we share idea and we share feelings. And uh, he doesn't have 90 minutes of a Premier League match in his legs yet. Um, so we are using Europa League to to complement this training process. We are using uh, some matches in the Premier League when, when we decide to, to play him. And the normal tendency will be, of course, for him to be better and better and better. Um, and that's it. And uh, he will start again on, uh, on Thursday. And um, even on the Europa League match where the intensity is different than, than Premier League, I will not play him for 90 minutes. I will have always this this care with him until we feel that he's ready. But today, great personality, great impact, a very important goal for us. And after that, he joined Harry in a very experienced way to play the last 15 minutes of, of the game. Um, both very clever, very intelligent, uh, technically very good, holding the ball, bringing the ball to zones where they couldn't hurt us. So, of course, I'm, I'm very pleased with him and pleased especially for him because he deserves that. He deserves that. I'm going to, when I have five minutes, I'm going to, to Safari to look at Madrid websites to see what they say. Okay, we'll go to John Cross. John. It, 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 Jose, your, your your comment at the end there suggests that you're you know you're so pleased for, you're so pleased for Gareth basically and you, you know yes. when, when we talk about criticism and the way to respond to it it's a yeah. beautiful moment yeah I think he knows he knows that we care about him and we know that he cares about us about us team club uh, Spurs and I think he's a perfect uh, perfect fit. Uh, as I was saying, he's very calm, he's very intelligent, he, he has good feelings, but he had bad feelings before because uh, the training process was, was hard and his body was suffering a little bit, but we gave him what he needs. Uh, we gave him all this care as, as a whole. I'm not speaking about myself, I'm speaking about as a whole. Sport science, medicals, my assistants, uh, the other players, so I'm very, very pleased for him to score this, um, this winning goal. Okay, Jerry Cox, I'm unmuting you. Hi, Jose. Were you anxious at last six minutes of stoppage time, considering the games against Newcastle and West Ham cost you four points in total? You are always, but I wasn't much. Uh, anything can happen in football, you know. Um, for example, these boys of, of Brighton, 
uh, they lost the game against Manchester United when when the game was over. Uh, so in football, anything can anything can happen. Um, but Hugo didn't make a save. Um, in the last 15 minutes, we were very much in in control. We kept the line up. Uh, when uh, Burn was playing striker with well back, was time for us to bring the line up, 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 and far from the dangerous crossing area. Harry and uh, and Garrett they hold the ball very, very well away from from our defensive zone. To be honest, you always fear a result, but um, the ball was never in a dangerous area for us. Okay, I'm going to take three more questions. Apologies. Um... Uh, we're running out of time. Charlie Eccleshare is next. Hi, Jose. I um, just wanted to ask about a couple of uh, midfielders who impressed me. Pierre Emile Hoybier who was outstanding. Just wanted to get your view on him and on uh, Lo Celso when he came on for the last half hour. Yeah, uh, Pierre was was again a very important uh, man in there. Gave us always that. Uh, that strength, that stability. Musa worked very, very hard for him. Uh, Tangi to get a yellow card so early. Uh, then you play with fear. And uh, play like Tangi with fear is hard because he goes for dribbling, uh, he attacks people, he loses the ball, he needs to recover. A second yellow card could, could arrive. I think from, from that moment, Tangi was a little bit in trouble. And Gio br brought that dynamic back to the to the team for the last 20 minutes and uh, he did very well for us. He's a player that needs to work, uh, no pre-season and no end of last season. Um, so he's one that needs to recover his, his fitness levels. It was easy to see against uh, Antwerp uh, that especially to play as a central midfielder, he didn't have that, that fitness. Um, to play as, as a number 10 with more freedom uh, yes, uh, he could he could help us. Uh, can he play one day together with with Tangi? Yes, they can, but for that they need both uh, to be physically in in a better condition. Okay, we finish with Sammy Mockbell, then Darren Howard. Sammy. Hi, Jose. The the, the, the win puts you second. Um, you know exactly what a winning Premier League team looks like. You've got the experience. Do you get the sense that this team is ready to to challenge? We are ready to challenge West Bromwich Albion in the next match. It's going to be very difficult. They need points. Slaven, clever guy, lots of experienced players. It's going to be difficult. We are going to be ready to challenge them. Um, your question, I understand. Um, I think we have just to go match after match uh, we need to learn with our with our mistakes and we need to understand that the premier league is is going in one direction where um, every match is very difficult and people tendency will will always be when one of the top teams loses points the tendency will be always didn't play well i i believe that uh, Potter and all the guys that coach uh, teams from the second part of the table, they deserve a lot of credit because they work phenomenal. They have very good teams, very good players. So I don't know. I don't know what can happen in, in the Premier League, honestly. Okay, final questions to Darren Howard. You can just unmute for us. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Jose. Can I just ask you about Brighton, please? Um, Graham Potter made some interesting personnel changes uh, tonight. Um, were you surprised by that? And uh, what, what did you make of their performance uh, tonight? No, the personnel changes, I don't know. Uh, goalkeeper, he made that decision with the keeper. Um, Mopai not playing. I don't know if it was his decision or if the boy had any problem, they have a very good squad, you can make changes. What for me I analyze is not his choices, is the way the team plays. And uh, I just love the way they play because even during the game, they have this capacity to change. Uh, they were playing with uh, a building up of three. 
then we adapted to to that and we were controlling the game then it changed for four uh, then we, we took our time to adapt because sometimes what we can see on the bench the players they cannot see on the pitch and the, communi the communication is not very easy I, I think they have a very good team uh, the work is brilliant I just think in this moment they don't have the points adapted to the quality of their game but for sure they are going to 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 get these points because the team is very good all right guys thank you very thank much thank you Cheers. thank you